What is good, Bubble Squad? And welcome back to our channel. So I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some girl talk questions, and I'm gonna be answering them in front of Bill. We've done this before, <laughs> but I asked you guys to ask me questions that have never been answered before, and I'm gonna give Bill's reaction. So I have a first question that I want to ask you. But before we get on to today's video, make sure you give this video a big, big thumbs, thumbs up. up. Make sure you guys are subscribed and. As you guys can see, we're getting all festive over here. Oh my god, they can't even see. If we turn the camera around, if we you saw our, them make sure to watch our recent YouTube video, okay? Because we show you our whole half house tour. Yeah, that was for like Christmas. That and was like pre. Oh my gosh. Our house is looking crazy, and today we spent another four hundred dollars. But besides that, so stay tuned for December first because we're gonna have a full Christmas house tour. Like we went out, guys, all out. So make sure you guys are counting down the days because you guys are not it's gonna want to miss it. This is the Vanco Performance V seven hundred, which is a ten eighty p full performance projector. So we just got this projector from Vanco, and we love it so much. We wanted to share a little bit about it with you. With the immersive three hundred and sixty degree sound, it'll create an around the room panoramic soundscape with four hundred and twenty ANS. Looms of brightness. Enjoy remarkable clarity that transform virtually any space into a private cinema. That basically means whether it be your bedroom, your garage, the side of your house, you can create a cinema wherever you take this, as long as there's a plug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you cares so much about their products that they make sure that their packaging is a hundred percent environment friendly package. New molded fiber plump tray projector packaging reduces the use of plastic material. And I know you guys are used to your 45 inch, your 55 inch. But the Performance V700 watt projector comes with a 120 inch screen. And if you put it on an even bigger wall, you can go up to as much as 240 inches. That's insane. Basically like you're in a movie theater. And the fact that this projector was even more affordable made it even a better decision for us. It's really good for date nights, family gatherings, sleepovers with friends, and so much more. So we just put up the projector. I connected it to my computer. Look at the whole setup. Look at this like nice little Christmas vibe. Comfy, you like, do look comfy. It's a good vibe over here. I kind of like it. Even though it's like I know. Kitchen, I, I like it because it's a different like We're done vibe. with our living room, okay? We're saying goodbye to the TV and, and we're, we're going with the projector. projector. All right, baby, lights going off. We got one of our recent YouTube videos set up on the screen right now. As you can see, it's freaking huge, guys. The screen okay. is way bigger than you would ever imagine. 120 inches in your mind does not even look as and close quality, as this. And the quality is really, really the quality good. The quality is amazing, but this Vankyo projector is is known to sound amazing. So at the click of this button, let's test it out. Woo! But where are we going? I'll tell you in the car. Dang! <laughs> Damn, hold on. It's literally on 50% right now. 50% and I could barely hear you. I know, it's loud. It's so nice, it's perfect because you don't even need any external speakers. The projector is all you need. It does video, it does sound. Amazing quality, which is the most important part. Look at that, look at how sharp it looks. It literally looks like I'm watching TV on an actual TV. If you're looking for a good time, Bankyo has your back with the Performance V700 projector. Make sure you guys go check out Bankyo in the description down below. And use our code at checkout. We hope you guys enjoy it just as much as we do. Okay, so the first girl talk question is, and I want you to answer. Let's hear it. How do you think us girls shave in the shower? Like, <laughs> give an impersonation of how you think it goes. So in a perfect world, I think a girl puts on shaving cream and she goes from the bottom of her leg up, right? I'm down there. Oh, oh there. we're talking about in the, in the, yes. in the, oh! Yes. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I thought you were talking about like, no, okay. no, 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 It's a little no, more no, awkward no, no, now. No, no, I have to talk no, about no. this. <laughs> okay, so what, okay, I think, I don't, I mean, maybe just, you know, they, they do some of this, maybe some spreading a little bit. One hand for that, okay. one hand for shaving. Am I right? I mean, you're right. I don't, if, I don't really do that. There's really no anymore. correct way of doing it. You kind of just have to be really careful and make sure, like, you have your leg oh, yeah. up, propped up, and you're oh, yeah, like, you don't like, want to, like, you, you do not want to snag yourself. anything. No. God, no. that would hurt. But I know a lot of you guys were asking if I get laser hair. So I actually do get laser hair and it's actually really helped. I'm still like in my process of getting rid of my hair. How many sessions have you done? Eight. I've been so on she's eight. done eight sessions, which means eight zaps. And let me just tell you my experience with it. It killed the first couple rounds because your hair is so thick and it like it basically zaps all the hair and it feels like it's burning. I might need to get it for my like chest and my stomach because I don't like body hair. Men get, men get laser hair. They I like armpit lights. hair. Yeah, well, armpit, yeah. my legs, yeah. my arms. That's kind of like manly to me, but yeah. like this kind of gets like dirty. And then once you get older, like it just all those dirty. guys that are growing it out, like I know a lot of I know a lot of girls like that though, but I just don't like it. Yeah. 
So I'm almost done with my laser hair, but my experience, honestly, so worth it. Like I absolutely love it. Like I would, I would definitely recommend it to you. If you have an opportunity to get some laser hair done and you don't it want would. hair in certain places, it helps. You it don't makes get it that way nasty easier, razor probably, burn. Yeah. You get that when you shave. It's very. I would thin. like that. I might, I might have to hit up your laser hair place. I mean, they've they do done, guys. they've done lower too on guys. Oh, uh, it's so awkward. I know. Okay. Next question. Okay, here's a girl talk question. Would Bill take a tampon out for you if you really needed him to? Oh yes, my gosh. right? You You're gonna answer for me? Let me answer, girl. It's not, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say yes. Right I know, now. but I'm saying I think you would. So, of course, I would for Mariah because I've been with her for almost six years. I, I, I mean, we're basically married, even though we're not yeah. yet. But we're like so close that I feel like I definitely would. I know you did, I would. Because on TikTok, I told you my tampon was stuck and you were gonna go all up in there and try to find it. Yeah, me. I know. I, I, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. know I would. I have never had to do that, but if the time comes and it is an emergency, your boy's got your back or mm -hmm. or any other spot. Anybody, I guess. He's actually one time I was in the shower and I forgot to take it out. Oh my I god. Him to grab it oh and my he god. had to grab it for me and throw it in the well, I I don't you're not supposed to do this, but I flush my tampons down the toilet. Just like the cotton one. I or, always see plumbing videos of but guys not the actual apple that are going to plumbers that are going to houses because they have backed up drains. And there's just like a million tampons in the drain. I'm one of those. So that's gonna be our drain. Well, I don't put the applicator in the thing, so it's just, it's just like it's like toilet yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's not as big. Yeah. Like for me, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that, that happened though. That definitely did. Yeah, it's like someone rolling up a thick wad of toilet paper. I feel like that's more than a little mini tampon that comes out of you. Know? Yeah. So if you're flushing down an applicator, then then that's where it can get clogged and stuck. I don't even know what an applicator is. The, the tampon application, like the, the That's outside. plastic. Why would, yeah, you, why would you flush that? I don't flush that. I'm saying Okay, if you, you girls flush are flushing that, 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 there's a problem. You're not supposed to be flushing plastic down the toilet. Yeah. Here's a good question. Are you into Bill every day? So like, how do I go through everyday life like in a relationship? Can I, I can I answer that first? No! What do you want to say? Because you said I could chime in. I'm going to say that not every day Mariah is like 100% into me. Okay. In the nicest way possible. Okay. It's not that you not, don't love me. Every this day you is, love me. <laughs> this is it. When you're in a relationship for six years, okay? I still get my butterflies. I love this man with my entire heart. Mm. He means the absolute world to me, and I could not imagine my life without him. There's just some days where he irritates me a <laughs> little bit more than the other. And sometimes I need that space, and there's nights where I just really, <laughs> like, we don't have that sexual tension, and I just, I, I mean, it is normal not to be, like, sexually active every single day, but for me, sometimes it's like, there's no, days I, no, where I'm, know, I'm clingy, okay, so there, I'm clingy, but then there's days where I'm not clingy. I understand that, because first of all, like, I get like that sometimes once in a while. There's once in a blue moon where I just, like, don't want to, like, do anything. <laughs> yes, that is, is, that is so <laughs> not true. Listen, listen. Because every day listen. if I was down, you would be down. Just listen so to what I'm going to say. Just listen to what I'm saying. There are... <laughs> that is so, there are he's so, talking out of his ass because he's embarrassed that he's the one who's always in, into it every night. Once in a the, while, there are nights, you know, here and there that I just literally don't want to do anything. I just don't want to, like, entertain anyone. I just want to, like, do my own thing, you know? Okay, but if I propose the <laughs> opportunity, you wouldn't pass it down. That's the thing. So you, you don't... I live my, my life YOLO. So, you know, you only live once. An opp opportunity presents itself, you have to take it. That's just how it is. But it is normal, guys, <laughs> if you are getting a relationship, like, you don't have to always be sexually, like, into it like that. But, but, but we are, so don't worry about that. Yeah. Like, don't, don't, We're good. Don't think that Mariah, oh, my neck. Don't think Mariah is, like, saying No, that. I'm not. I'm just saying it's normal to not have to do that every <laughs> yeah. day. And That's 100%. we work, eat, sleep, do everything together every single day. So, yeah. like, we hang out like basically 24 night, hours a day. I'm like, go play your video games and get away from me. Yeah. I, like, I need my time away. It's good. It's good to have your personal time to yourself. Mm -hmm. And your own hobbies and split off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes you want to come back together because you miss. Yeah, your I feel like people that like get upset and like essentially like end up breaking up because they don't do stuff enough. Like maybe that's sexually or not. Like I feel like that's like not where love comes from. I feel like love comes deeper than just like emotional feeling and physical feeling. It's I feel like, like it's just, just a, a mixture of everything. Package. You have to have yeah. the personality. Sometimes it's just not going to be an everyday thing. It might be like a couple times a month or like you know. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that ends but other times questions. it might be, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, it just depends on the mood. Next question is, did you get sick every time you were on your period? I get really sick every time and I don't know if it's gonna stop. Unfortunately for me, my periods have definitely gotten better since I started working out. Like if you're physically active, it really, it is proven to like really help your menstrual cycle and like just like your body, it makes you feel better. But 
I've always struggled with like bad period cramps. I get really bad headaches and nausea. I still get that, but it's very toned down now that I do work out. I mean, every period's different. There's some periods where I have an amazing period, but then the next period, I'm no. freaking tired. Mariah used to have terrible periods. They, it, they were so bad. That's oh, why she said unfortunately. Because yeah. unfortunately, fortunately now, it's better. Yeah. But so back, now. back then, like probably four or five years ago, but ever since I met you up until like two years ago. Yeah. Her periods were so bad. We had the heating pad on her. She literally tried everything. They were so like painful. I don't know oh, why. They were so bad. They were, they were so just bad. they were terrible. I remember her going through it. She would literally just have to sit on the bed, do nothing, yeah. sit on the toilet like for hours. It was <laughs> terrible. And I think that's why today I'm really freaking tired and I'm getting really bad headaches. It's because I get my period in three days and I get really bad side effects like even a week before. Like oh, and someone just, like, also. Blaming it on uh -huh. No, I know it is. That oh, and someone also asked, do you get period? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I am, it's so crazy because like I said, the week before I am just pooping my brains out because <laughs> oh it's God. like any time, I don't know. It's just like my, that's what I'm saying. My body's so sensitive on my period. Remember when I, you had like irritable bowel syndrome? Oh, I did. Imagine Guys, having that. I had it every and, no, 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 day. No, no, no. Imagine having that, but imagine having that while on your period at the same time. Oh, that terrible. would have been so bad. Guys. And for people out there, like literally, I, I feel for you because I, have I've seen what this girl has gone through and like when we were in our apartment that's when it was the worst It's because guys oh my, God. my anxiety was heightened and I after I got an anxiety medicine That's when it helped me because I was so anxious every day that I would have like <laughs> shit farts in the toilet I'm so glad that we did not have to take that toilet with us like I'm so glad like our house toilets are They're totally different toilets in our apartment like whoever moved into our apartment after No, that, don't make it oh, like that Oh they were clean. I'm just, I just had a lot of stomach problems yeah. and it was caused by my anxiety and I'm really glad I got that taken care of. So yeah, you're, it's way better now. yeah, it, it definitely is. It just, it comes back on my period. Like I just get really bad. But it hasn't been bad for a while. No, it, you don't, you don't hear me in the toilet anymore. They're, no, they're no, not, not anymore. Quiet now. Gotta turn but the music before, back then. Before, like, oh, Brian's it going was to the bathroom. Lot, I would be Brace so, for impact. No, the, would, the house is shaking, right? I would be so embarrassed anytime I went to anyone's house because I would want to be like public far restrooms, away. Yes, yeah. because it was loud. She used to have to wait to go loud. to the bathroom and not in public, yeah. But. Yeah, it was loud. Oh, and by the way, it's starting to rain right now and I think this is the early effects of Hurricane Nicole. We just got hit by Hurricane Ian, which was the biggest hurricane, top five hurricane to hit the whole US and it hit our neighborhood. And now we have another tropical storm slash hurricane it really didn't hit us coming that through, bad. but it's not hitting us hard this time, thank God. But yeah, yeah not I just thought I would let you know. Florida, needs Florida a right now is being crazy with these storms. Next question is, is discharge normal? Yes, and if a guy ever makes you think that that's not normal, it is so normal. Us girls, our bodies just let stuff out. Like, you know, you, you, you don't get discharged, you do then? No. It's a... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was little, I used to have, you know, those, those brown... Yeah, okay, <laughs> all right, we're done. But yes, discharge is normal. It is totally normal for girls to have that. And don't ever feel like it's not normal because our bodies just, I don't really know how it works, but every girl has it. Yeah. So that's totally normal. How do you keep yourself smelling good down there? Okay, so there's a lot of different theories on like what works best and what is best for your area down I'm there. I'm gonna chime in on this too. I'm gonna chime in because I know where you're going with this. Just keep talking. I would love to hear what you have to no, say. No, just but keep I'm talking. I'm gonna say what I have to say. Talking, yeah, yeah, you, you, you sit in. down and be quiet and talk. I'm sitting. I'm okay. quiet. So some people say that it's best to not use scented soap, which I think that's true. But at the same time, I use scented soap and I don't have problems down there. Um, why are you laughing? But there's some people that say they only just use water, which I feel like is kind of gross because I feel like you gotta clean it. Like, I feel like you gotta at least use an unscented soap or something. All right, all right. Oh, Okay. Or if you want to like freshen up, they do have summer's, I think it's summer's eve wipes mm -hmm. and you can wipe it and you know, keep it clean and that's really actually really good for you down there. I've actually used them right. before, so what? My what turn. do you want to say? My turn. All right, so this I'm just going to get on this subject. You, for those of you, I know everyone's body's different, okay? If your body smells amazing and you only wash with water, like you are lucky, okay? Because let me just tell you, if you aren't using soap down there, okay? That is like a crevice that is compacted all day in your pants, you know, your, your legs are moving side to side and this and that and this, you know, discharge and all that. If you don't wash with soap, at least 
unscented soap. You gotta use it. I feel like it's a little nasty. I feel, I, I just don't know how it could smell good it's, if you don't. It's, scented soap just takes you over the edge. Like I will never not wash with something scented because it not only cleans it, but it also leaves a little refreshing thing. So once you start getting some BO by midday and day, that scent kind of cancels it out by the next time you take a shower. Well, listen, listen, listen. Does that make sense? Us girls have a pH balance. So it's like, if your pH balance is bad, it obviously you stink. So the thing is, is the theory, it's very controversy because it's like, but girls sweat. I know, but listen, your, your, it, it is, it's a controversy subject because I'm not even really educated on it. I just know what works best for me. And I just feel like you have, you know, just for it to smell clean and good, mm. you gotta at least use an unscented soap because it's cleaning it. You can't, like, your, your underwear is bashed up in there. Like, no, you, like, you at least have to clean it, it even if you don't want to warm scent. down there, yeah. You have to use soap. Yeah, I use soap. It's like, I'm not gonna I, clean my hands with just water after soap. touching dirt. But if you wanna keep yourself, like, fresh enough at the end of the day, get some Summer's Eve wipes. I'm gonna get them at Target, Walgreens, like anywhere. Once again, I'm not coming at anyone that just cleans no. with water. I just think you should, you know, maybe, or maybe I need to. This is just our opinion. Yeah, this that's is... just my opinion. I feel like if you just There's clean with water. There's nothing wrong with that. It's like I wouldn't just wash my hands with water. I wouldn't just wash my hair with water. Like, I feel like, you, gotta you have know, some soap. you have to have some sort of. I don't know. I just feel like wa that water. Let's get rid of the bacteria. That water thing doesn't work for me. Like There's I have... bacteria all there. Yeah, I know. You have to at least wash it with un unscented soap. Yeah. Or something that's good. Good to be made that's down the only, there. That's the only thing. I think I they also have a Summer's Eve body wash that goes that's specifically for your down there area. Yeah. Okay, so the last question is: Did your first time hurt oh, sexually? That wasn't it? with me, so I wouldn't yeah. know. Yes, it did hurt just because it's like a new thing, and like I mean, obviously tampons. You're, it, I was used to sticking stuff up there, but the thing is, is like it's a way different thing. Everyone's different. It depends on just like how you do it. But for me, it did hurt. But then I got used to it. It wasn't it wasn't that bad, but yeah guys It doesn't hurt at all. No anytime, but for girls it does girls just take we're not like used to it the first time and you do bleed It is normal to bleed your first time because it's like you know the cherry popping and stuff like that So it is totally normal to bleed and you know, don't be alone. Yeah, I've never even thought, I've never even, like, thought about that. Yeah. yeah, it does hurt though. It I, yeah, hurt I'm sure it would. Yeah, it did. It was kind of scary, but I liked it. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whenever the time does come, though, make sure, you know, the time is right. Make yeah. sure you're... I, I also want you guys to know, make sure that you're, you know, if you haven't already, you know, use some protection, you know, That's some sort us. of thing. Like, like, I feel like a lot of, like, parents push that, and I'm not trying to push it, but I'm just saying, like... It's just better to be safe Accidents than happen so many times, and, like, maybe it's for the best, because I know some amazing people have came out of, like, the worst situations. Yeah. But... I don't know. You just don't, you know, for, if it's your first time, it's like most people aren't, you know, with their first person forever. I know some forever. people like are, I wasn't, you weren't. Yeah, you know. I know some people are allergic to um, the protection aspect, which I think I am. Oh, yeah. But um, I just kind of suffer through it because I don't want to get pregnant right now and I want to be safe and I, and you know, oh, yeah. I'm not ready for that. Yeah, I think there's condoms that have like different. Probably is made out of different materials. Yeah. Yeah, latex. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little girl talk video. I hope I answered some of the questions that have been on set. I feel like I got stuff that I never, I never answered. I hope I did a good job as well. I don't know like if I answered everything like completely, but like that's just to, to my honest opinion. Like yeah. everything I was talking about, I don't know 100% about what you guys do, but I have a good understanding because yeah. I grew up in a family of like basically girls. girls. All I had was me and my dad. I either have a younger sister, an older sister, and my mom. So yeah. it's like everywhere I went, there was always a girl there. Yeah. You know? So it's just like I know a lot about girls, but like, you know, obviously not everything. Yeah. And he lives with me. So <laughs> and I've been with this girl everything. for six years. And we've been living together for almost three, mm -hmm. basically, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, you guys, I am so excited. I'm about to go lay down. I never am this tired. I think it is first from the gloominess of the day. Oh, before we leave, I want to show you the new Santa. I want to show them. We have to. You turn it on. I'm no, like... I want to wait. No, we have to save it. No, come on. <sighs> Fine, uh... show them. I mean, I just wait, showed them my Instagram story. Should we show them or should we have them wait? I think we should have them wait. Okay, so today, like I said at the beginning of the video, we bought like 400 more dollars for Christmas stuff and we just set one of the things up and it's super dope. So get ready because we are going to be doing December 1st, a complete Christmas house tour Outside, to start off the Christmas videos. <laughs> Also, I'm not trying to skip over Thanksgiving. We freaking love Thanksgiving. I can't wait for the food. I love the holiday. I love the meaning behind it. But 
Christmas is just our favorite time of the year. Also, I know many of you guys have been asking if we're doing Vlogmas this year. We just aren't sure yet. I, I, I'm i on the edge of not. We'll let you guys know December 1st what we end up deciding to do. We want to do Vlogmas, but we have so much going on in December. We yeah. don't know if we're going to be able to like post every day, but we honestly, we might post like an extra video, like a yeah, bonus video like a every bonus week. Video. So depending on like how everything plays out, we're definitely obviously going to be posting three times a week. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but we might add in maybe a Sunday video. We don't know yet. We'll let so, you guys know. Yes. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and we will see you in, in the, the next, next one. But until then, peace. peace. Love, Love you guys. guys. And girls. <laughs>